YouTube just released a new feature to everyone that will change the future of the platform forever. And yes, it's A-B testing. Here's how to access it and how to take advantage of this huge opportunity to get more views and subs for your YouTube channel. And I'll also show you a secret tool to find out about other people's A-B experiments. Starting out with how to access it. First, make sure that under Feature Eligibility in your YouTube Studio, you have Advanced Features enabled. Then your long-form videos need to not be set as for kids and also not be set as 18 plus only. And if you do that, according to YouTube, that should be all that you need to unlock the feature. However, while people from my school community already have access to it, I for some reason don't. But Burrito James from my school was kind enough to show how the whole process looks like. So when uploading a video or even on old videos, you can click on change thumbnail and this thing will pop up. Now instead of clicking on change, as usual, click on test and compare, which brings us to this window. Here you can upload up to three different thumbnails and once you click on done, YouTube will start showing these different thumbnails to different viewers. And this is how a running test looks like. On the right side, you will see the watch time share that each thumbnail has, with the best one being automatically chosen as your winning thumbnail. So let's get to how you can really take advantage of this feature. First of all, make three different thumbnails. These two thumbnails are exactly the same, except one of them has the letters A and B, while the other one is a more scaled up version. And in the thumbnails within the thumbnail, we can see that Mr. Beast tried two completely different POVs. Generally speaking, the more thumbnails differ from one another, it'll be easier for the algorithm to find a winner. That's why instead of those two thumbnails with the test thumbnail button, I will also try out this new feature one. And on the secret website that I'm about to reveal, you can also view people's A-B testing experiments. Here we can see that Colin and Samir ran five different tests. The man who runs Instagram, this is an arms race, and creators are tough to keep happy. Out of those, which one would you think performed best? Well, both the man who runs Instagram and this is an arms race made it onto the next round. Only creators are tough to keep happy didn't. Their second test was with a third quote, but then they decided on the man who runs Instagram. Then they changed the title, as we can see, and then they ran another experiment and changed the title again. And I hope you get how serious this whole thing is. If you're below, let's say, 10,000 subscribers, there's absolutely no point in going this extreme, but I'd say that everyone should upload three thumbnails per video every single time, even just to get a feeling of what thumbnail performs better. A great way to use A-B testing is also through different formats. I'm sure you've seen before and after thumbnails before, or day one and day 30 ones, and in this test, Ryan Trahan tests between a full screen thumbnail and a before and after thumbnail. So far, there's no clear winner yet though. And I'll stop gatekeeping, the website is called viewstats.com, and by the way, this was actually developed by Mr. Beast's team. But let's continue with the things that you should try for your own thumbnails. We talked about changing the text, changing small details, and changing the entire scene or format. So what else is there? Well, quite a bit. First of all, test around with the saturation. In any basic photo editor, you can do this, even on your phone gallery. This thumbnail and this thumbnail will most likely perform differently. Then do the same thing with contrast. Here's a thumbnail with more and one with less contrast. Then also try a thumbnail without any editing at all. For some channels, this works insanely well, and it could save you a lot of time if it works for you. Then try adding a big net effect to a thumbnail, see if that makes any difference. And you can also try different fonts. Overall, you just need to make sure that your thumbnails stop the scroll, build trust and then ignite curiosity. More about that in this free 30 minute thumbnail guide that's linked on the end screen right here. Thumbnails are incredibly important and with this new feature, they are even more. So take some time to learn how to make better thumbnails right now.